blow. Today, we're going to try to address the starting issue on my silver top 20 valve here. Uh, so far, uh, it's just not doing anything. So, uh, we're going to see if we can find out today. And uh, I'm going to start by removing the header to access the starter and test connection there and see if we're getting anything at all. So, begin by removing the 14 millimeters. Break them loose here with my wrench. And then it's crucial you punch that hook too. Yeah, that guy. You really want to get it right in here. And we come in with a little impact guy afterward and zap them off. Yeah. Bitch! <laughs> So I'm not expecting it to start today, just uh, hoping to find some progress in the issue of what's going on. And uh, after this, we're probably going to remove the dash and maybe even take off the front fender so I can really just see everything that's going on. Uh, this has been a long-term build for myself and I've kind of pieced some shit together over time and don't really remember everything that I have. so I'm. Suspicious of having some mixed harnesses here. Um, hoping to find that out. Yeah, we got one more here in the center. Yeah, it might not run, but it looks good. That's half of it. Happy That's it. probably actually the most important thing. Alright, that was going to have to come out by hand too because fuck my life. Yeah. be too easy to make it even, you know, nice and accessible. Oh, I love it. It's not the worst one. I can't bitch too much. shitty OBX exhaust that I had to beat the hell out of to get the cut over the steering rack. Highly don't recommend on $20. Remove this? Yeah. Just in case? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. 13? Probably. Dude, this starter's giant. It is pretty fucking big. I got that from a wrap. Good lord. I believe there's two different starters, and one of them has the sawn on it on the outside, and the other has it on the inside as well. I couldn't tell you which one's what, but. Yeah. yeah. Some dipshit's gonna tell me I should have done this first. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even work on cars. No. Go buy an 8.6. <laughs> yeah, torture yourself. Yeah. Can't find parts, and when you do, you pay fucking six times as much as you would. Yeah. All right. So there's that. So uh, basically, uh, probably to no avail, we're going to uh, hook the multimeter up there to the starter signal and see what's going on there. Probably also check the power wire, make sure there's no disconnect in between there. Just to be safe. Yep. I just wanted to take the uh, starter signal loose. That way, uh, 
Or right, take the negative terminal loose, that way we didn't ground out anything on accident. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, now after we do all this and everything's protected, then we'll uh, hook it back up and then... Now she blows. Yeah, that's a... Holy shit. Honker. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is from the, uh, the Battle Garage, uh, Plug and Play, the Altec Elite, it's a kit there, and it decides on. Tell you what, we plugged this thing, it's still not playing. It so. ain't playing. I'm not fucking this thing, it ain't playing either. Alright, so, let's look at the internet, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Back and do it again. so quickly my meter can't catch it. Seeing what my meter caught. I turned it off. Yeah, it's it's just not getting shit. It's like bouncing. It's weird. Alrighty. So um, uh, looks like we got a lot of uh, corrosion in my uh, dash harness there. Um, not super surprised. A little bump, but not surprised. So uh, we are going to go inside. Uh, way out options on. Uh, uh, if I can find anything used, but honestly, I might you know, just try to build something new um, so I don't have this issue again, probably with a used harness again. So, um, yeah, that's about where we're at. Uh, we're just getting an ass load of resistance all over the place, uh, um, all stemming out of the fuse box there on the inside. So, uh, that's where we're at, unfortunately. So, hopefully, uh, we'll have more here in a little bit and uh, see what we can do. Yeah, for all you eight six gurus out there, what we went through, we went through and checked continuity from the ignition switch to jump the clutch safety switch to the starter relay, made sure all that was good, and then went from after jumping the, the clutch safety switch from that fuse block, we jumped from that fuse block to the uh, to the starter, and in there we we're getting like 200 milliohms uh, resistance. And then on top of that, when we go to check for any sort of power there after jumping the whole system, we were still dealing with uh, just weird voltage readings. It would bounce, 
Uh, you couldn't capture it with the meter. Uh, the maximum amount of voltage we saw were two volts, which is not nearly enough to turn that switch on. So it's saying it, it's our safe bet there is I guarantee if we open that fuse block up, we're going to find a bunch of green corrosion in there. But we'll try to find a workaround. Maybe we can find a fuse block. Maybe we can, uh, we'll just build another harness. But the ultimate goal for this car, like Chad was saying, he wants this thing to be drivable and actually usable. So it's not. It's not a, we're not going to just hook up something to a toggle switch for drift spec or anything like that. He actually wants to be able to drive this car and use it, so. I thought about it, but I really want it to be nice, so, or try. <laughs> yeah, but. so, stay tuned. We'll uh, figure something out, and uh, worst case scenario, we'll uh, slap some side skirts on it. <laughs> yep. At least it looks good. I'm excited. <laughs>